Here, everyone, how's your lives going for you? I'm Eric Limo. You're watching another episode, EML 77 TV, episode 226. How's everyone doing out there? Yes, right, I'm on vacation. Uh, we're halfway through the week, and I return on mon- to work on Monday, the Daily Grind. Um, a lot is going on. Uh, I bought more stuff off Amazon and eBay. I will show all that when I get to it. Um, in a later time, and uh, right now, though, we're in May. We're in May, and uh, it's uh, a lot of people are uh, still kind of experiencing some cold weather. We're watching the Red Sox play in Chicago right now, and the Red Sox are up three games to two. Checking, t- and they're keeping tabs on the Stanley Cup um, playoffs as the Bruins are leading two to one over the Columbus Blue Jackets. In game three, I believe. So that's the, uh, the consensus. Um, so it's yeah, it's a lot. A lot has gone on. Um, but there's a birthday and a, a death that we want to get to. Um, come to find out, let's start with a death, a celebrity death. Um, Peter Mayhew. You don't know who the name. If you don't know who the name is, maybe this could ring a bell. Um, he was the actor that played Chewbacca for the entire Star Wars uh, series. Passed away at the age of 74. He um, was well-loved by family and friends, especially Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and George Lucas, who considered him a, a kind soul, a gentle soul, a good friend, and always make you laugh. Um, yep, he's passed away at the age of 74. So rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. Um, thank you for your contribution to Hollywood, especially to Star Wars, and for the character of Chewbacca. I know you, the legacy Chewbacca will be will live on forever, and but there, there can no one that can replace Peter Mayhew. So, uh, I want to say uh, rest in peace and thank you, Peter Mayhew, and say hi to Carrie Fisher while you're up there in heaven. Um, so I'm trying to be a little more subdued, not because of the death, but it's almost 10 o'clock at night, and I'm on, excuse me, I'm on vacation, so I can stay up a little bit late than usual. Because I never, normally I would never do something like this during during work at work days, and I try I try to make the attempt to do it on the weekends or something like that, but uh, or earlier in the afternoons during weekdays, but. Uh, I figured, you know, I'm going. I go to bed late and all that, so it's going to be. Uh, so, I, so that's why I'm a little bit more, a little calm than usual. And a happy birthday goes out to my all-time favorite WWE superstar, past, present, and future. He is the man that calls himself the People's Champion, the most electrifying man in sports entertainment today. Um, the man that I'm talking about is Dwayne Johnson, A.K.A. The Rock. He turns 47 today, and if you look at him, he don't look it. He, one thing he does is keep himself busy. He works very hard. He gives back, gives back to the people, and he's also wrote a book. <clears throat> and I got the book right here. Back in 2000, it's The Rock says and talks about his adventure since he was a kid growing up until um, the day he made it to the WWE, and he talked about. The death of Owen Hart in here, um, a little chapter on him dedicating to Owen, and talking about how the legends and um, and I kept this book ever since. And uh, ever since I got this book, I couldn't put it down. It was a good book. So if you, I know you probably won't find it in your local bookstores anymore, but if you go online, Amazon or eBay, you're probably going to find the book there. I don't know. And if you, if you do, great, pick it up. And um, it's unbelievable. And uh, it's a, good, it's a good read, that's for sure. Um, so, happy birthday, Rock, and thank you for your contributions, not only to um, the professional wrestling and sports entertainment, but to Hollywood and to life in general. And I uh, hope we continue to do so, sir. I salute The Rock on, on his 47th birthday, Congrat- and uh, thank you, Rock. So, two men, <clears throat> one gone on <clears throat> to... Uh, the big Millennium Falcon, Falcon in the st- in the sky, and that would be Mr. Peter Mayhew. Rest in peace, sir. 
and one whose birthday we're celebrating for another year. That would be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. So, uh, so we smell what you're cooking, Dwayne, and thank you, Peter Mayhew. Rest in peace. <clears throat> so, that's that's unbelievable. Also, oh, other big news. Uh, a couple of big news. It seems like the team up that they had for Super Sentai, but with Go Busters, Q Ryuger, and and the uh, and the uh, Abba Ranger and Zero Ranger will be adapted to the Beast Morphers uh, version. And they're saying that there's reports saying that Austin St. John will be returning as the re- returning to Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Will he reprise the role as Jason the Red Ranger? Assumingly so, but we'll find out for sure what's going on before we. Uh, that hashtag show did report on that, and so they're saying that some Dino uh, Charge Rangers are there. We have yet to hear word on Dino Thunder, see if any of the cast members would be there. And it is Hasbro. It's a little different than Saban. So, so Hasbro's going all out with this. And um, so that's uh, so that's uh, that's something, something huge. Also, um, Pressure Luck. Um, it's it is coming back to TV. And we know uh, for Card Sharks, Joe McHale will be hosting Card Sharks. And for Pressure Luck. Actress Elizabeth Banks will be uh, emceeing the show. Yeah, who who better than someone who played a villain, who played the villain Rita Repulsa in the 2017 Power Rangers movie? Why not get somebody like Elizabeth Banks to to uh, keep the Whammies to behave themselves? It'd be very interesting to see what the Whammies are going to look like. That yeah, that's my and the game board and the game set. This will be very very interesting to say the least. And I'm hoping to get Savage Steve Holland to, to uh, recreate the whammy. That's what that'd be really cool if they can get him to do it. So uh, who knows? We'll see what happens. And uh, so that's 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 the other um, that's two other big news. So it's a lot going on in Hollywood and in t- on TV. It's gonna be for, it's gonna be fun this summer. And for those of you who, who have not, <clears throat> on the last episode I talked about. Uh, the release date of Super Mario Maker 2, June 28th. Reserve your copy now. If you have a Nintendo Switch, reserve your copy now. It's unbelievable. Um, hmm. Excuse me. So, yeah, reserve your copy now, guys. It's going to be... Um, they, YouTube put out a Japanese... Um, Nintendo Japan put out the uh, Japanese... Uh, another video of Super Mario Maker 2... I think celebrating the new emperor's uh, thing, uh, the new emperor coming in and uh, honoring that, and they had some much cool stuff there. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it, and seriously, making all these new, brand new levels, and like I said, get these thumbs will be never be the same again once uh, I get my hands on this game, and uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Trust me on this one. It's gonna be totally cool and totally awesome. So. Uh, so that's uh, so that's it. that's it. That's all the um, the news that we have on today. Um, my life's going pretty good. I'm just chilling, relaxing at home. I had to go out to a couple occasions to get stuff. So I'll see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful day. Um, catch you on the flip side. God's blessings to you all. And remember, pay attention. You just might learn something. All right. Episode two twenty six. Happy birthday, Rock. Rest in peace, Peter Mayhew. See you guys. Peace. Episode 227. We'll see what happens then. All right. See ya. Good night.